Okay, now that you've uh, watched the other video on how to build a soda cat, uh, now we got to program it with the firmware. Um, so the first thing we need is we need a USB cable that's a high quality USB cable. Many USB cables uh, only are made for charging cell phones. Um, they don't have the extra wires needed for transferring data between a computer and the soda cat. So you need a high quality cable that isn't just a charging cable, but a full USB cable. Uh, we're going to plug it in uh, to the soda cat. The other end will be in the computer. Uh, once we have that connected, we're going to uh, go over to your web browser on the computer you've connected it to. Okay, the next step on the browser, uh, it has to be a either a Google Chrome or a Microsoft Edge or an Opera browser. Uh, other browsers like Safari and Firefox will not work. So what we're going to do is go to sodamate, um, got to spell it right, dot com slash sodacat. Go to that page. Uh, there's all the instructions here, yada, yada. If you go down to the installing firmware section, it lists the browsers that are required. And then you see this connect to sodacat via USB. So we click that button. This button won't appear if you're on the wrong browser. And in the list, we have to find our soda cat that we've connected. Um, so it's going to be different on your computer, uh, but I can kind of use a process of elimination. These are my Bluetooth headphones, and it's certainly not Bluetooth. And it could be this COM5 thing, but it isn't because I know we've connected to USB. Uh, so if you see something that looks like this, that's going to be the one. You might have to use a process of elimination. We hit connect, and if we picked the right one, we'll see this. And we're going to install SodaCat. It shows us the version number, tells us that if we do this, everything on the SodaCat is going to be erased. Um, there's nothing on there because it's a brand new one, so we're going to erase that. And now it's going to install the firmware. And at this point, you should see your soda cat's lights might blink on and off uh, now that it has some firmware on there. And then we can hit next. And then you can close out of here. We're done with that step. All right, coming back to the soda cat now, um, you should see maybe a, a light on there. Uh, what we're going to do is turn it completely off. Uh, we're going to unplug it and make sure that we have the power switch. Uh, some soda cats have a power switch. This one doesn't. This one uh, is turned on or off by plugging it in. Um, so when you connect the TRS to TRS adapter, that turns it on. And when you unplug it, that turns the power off. So we've completely powered it off. Then what we're going to do is power it on and connect it to our uh, Elecraft radio. So we're gonna put it in the accessory jack. And when we do that, um, might see the blue light go off. Um, the next step we're gonna do is on the phone. Oh, and by the way, the, uh, the uh, radio is on um, so that there's something for it to talk to. Okay, so next we're going to go into settings on the phone, go to Wi-Fi, and we're going to look for the soda cat in the Wi-Fi list. Connect to it, and the initial password is 12345678. Connect to that, and then you will see that we connect to the soda cat's Wi-Fi. In, you're going to run, launch a browser like Safari, and the URL you want to navigate to is sodacat.local if you're on iOS. If you're on Android, it would be 192.168.4.1. You can try sodacat.local on Android, but it doesn't always work. All right, when the web page comes up, you go to the Settings tab, and you want to put in your home Wi-Fi network here at the top. Actually, just read the instructions. Um, and you have to put your password in there for your home Wi-Fi network and then hit save at the bottom. And uh, follow the instructions that are on that page. When you're done, we're going to unplug and reboot it again. All right. Now that we have connected to the soda cap, put in our Wi-Fi and password, uh, we want to power it off. So 
unplugging it or if you have a switch on yours turn the switch off and then we're going to reboot it turn it back on again and now it's going to follow our wi-fi instructions that we just programmed into it put it into your radio and now it's going to uh, um, there it'll connect to the wi-fi when the uh, red light goes off, that means it connected to Wi-Fi. When the blue light goes off, it means it's talking to the radio. So with both lights off, that means we have a good uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, I mean uh, radio connection.